At the Computer History Museum in the heart of Silicon Valley, people gathered recently at the African Diaspora Investment Symposium to talk about the future of Africa business. In the past, many Africans, and especially people like me from the diaspora, were not invited to the table to really discuss what, on issues that matter to the continent. So we said, well, what if we, if we can just uh, bring everyone together so we can have that discussion at the same table? Remittances, money sent by people living in the U.S. to family in Africa, has long been a key way to support the continent, speakers said. But Nikosh and others said there are other uses of diaspora funds. How do we scale remittances so that it can also be invested in other people than our family? Supporting startups. While many investors and businesses want to come to Africa, it can be a challenge to navigate which is why African nations have been working on the African Continental Free Trade Area, said Joseph Matura, Google's first sub-Saharan African lead and now a minister in the Kenyan government. How do they, with the different regulations, different countries, be able to get into the continent? So we are providing the platform that they can now use. They come, and as part of the Continental Free Trade Area, they are able to then go to many of the other different markets. For the roughly 50 African entrepreneurs attending the event, this was an opportunity to pitch their businesses. Abubakar Kamara, an architect from Guinea, is working on a housing startup. We're implicating people in the process of actually building their homes. You know, we want to change the concept of what is architecture, because architecture has a lot to do with your identity. Nenik Holis is the chief executive of a sports technology company in South Africa. We have a smart wearable that is sewn to the garments around the joint ankles uh, of um, the athlete's garments. Barbara Barangi Mutabazi runs Uganda Women in Technology, which trains female students and young women for technology jobs like coding. Yeah, I've made some really good connections, especially in terms of funding, fundraising. And I'm proud to be a second-generation family business um, leader. For many of the attendees, the event was a welcome chance to talk about Africa's successes. Thelma Akeor runs a Nigeria-based business accelerator and an investment fund for women-run businesses. I think one of the problems that Africa's had for years is we, we, we tend not to talk about the, div the progress and the developments that are happening on the continent, so it's been a pleasure to come here and share with people that live here in the valley about the work that we're doing. The connections made at this event can be long-lasting as people look for ways to be part of the burgeoning African business sector. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, Mountain View, California.